Well, I'm, I'm uh, quite glad to make uh, kind of at least mention this because when I arrived this morning, I was getting some strange looks. Uh, <laughs> arriving at a technology conference with a cushion. Uh, the, the fact that it looks nothing like technology is actually uh, one of its main uh, design goals because it was designed uh, to work uh, in elderly homes and, of course, uh, laptop computers and so on were not designed for, for elderly uh, um, participants or elderly people. So, uh, on Trill, luckily, we have a, a strong uh, usability design team that can uh, take uh, a shimmer from being, you know, this to this. And uh, so the, the device itself is a uh, biofeedback uh, device that gives useful real-time non-invasive uh, measure of alertness. Uh, you probably already guessed it anyway, it's, uh, it's got a shimmer uh, GSR sensor uh, uh, as the, the brains of the device. Uh, simple LCD data storage to the micro SD card so you're not worried about having broadband, uh, any connectivity, the data is uh, kind of stored on the uh, on the shimmer itself using the uh, micro SD card. Uh, so I suppose uh, I suppose there's probably been about ten projects on Trill uh, that have have used uh, uh, shimmer technology over the last few years, uh, and they're all kind of they've all got some real life uh, problem or application behind them. Uh, this one in particular, I think Mick has already uh, kind of covered it in some way, but uh, these problems can be much greater than we uh, give them credit for to begin with. Uh, so memory and, and older, other complex mental functions are strongly influenced by a person's state of alertness. Uh, and, you know, if it's a case of forgetting that you left your keys uh, down and not remembering where you where you left stuff and things like that, it's all very trivial and I think I'm at that stage myself. But when you get to the stage of uh, forgetting your medication and uh, indeed uh, getting confused and having accidents, then uh, it's a completely different uh, scenario. So the uh, researchers at uh, Trill, I suppose, uh, realized this uh, a long time ago uh, and they devised uh, an alertness uh, training program. So it's, it's quite simple, uh, uh, you use uh, a biofeedback device along with a, a small uh, kind of easy to follow training uh, manual and you train yourself to, uh, uh, to alert, uh, to become more alert and to uh, improve your overall cognitive function. Uh, the device itself, you, you uh, as I say, it's a GSR, Shimmer GSR, you just uh, connect to uh, the electrodes and the uh, device begins to uh, uh, calibrate and then after about 30 seconds uh, it comes up with a very simple uh, um, line basically going across the screen so it, it's not very uh, multimedia driven it's very uh, very simple uh, but it, it does the, uh, the task of uh, showing you when you um, when you start self alert yourself, you can see the uh, uh, the the curve uh, going up, uh, and obviously uh, it's hard to see. So I'll pass it around, and uh, you know people can uh, use it for themselves uh, as the day goes on. Uh, so the the technology requirement was uh, for a biofeedback device of electrodermal activity that was. Uh, our technology requirement for, for this uh, device. Actually, the previous uh, generation of this, uh, which is about three years, two, two years, maybe three years back, was a laptop computer and an off-the-shelf GSR device. So this is prior to uh, using Shimmer. And it actually, uh, uh, even though it seemed like a feasible uh, um, you know, technology deployment, it was very unreliable. The, the users, maybe 50% of them, did not use a, a laptop computer before, uh, touch pads, using the mice, even uh, certain things like that. Uh, and then the technology itself being uh, being unreliable was, uh, you know, it, it made the uh, project uh, unfeasible. So 
Uh, this was this was the result of uh, going back to uh, to the, the drawing board and coming up with the uh, the full kit. So the the uh, uh, the deployment involves the, the cushion and the manual, and it uh, has been deployed in uh, I think 30 homes, I think so far, um, and everyone will have one by Christmas. Uh, so there's the uh, one of the participants. There's a, a, a nice uh, a, a nice uh, a paper, I suppose you could call it, on the the Trill Centre website that kind of goes through the uh, the design life cycle for for the device. It's very very worthwhile having a look at. Okay, uh, the next one is, uh, just to show you quickly, is uh, based on the uh, uh, real-time data analysis and I think Mick already uh, mentioned the, the rationale for uh, Trill to, to be spending uh, time researching uh, gate analysis. Some of the uh, background, uh, there are uh, Three of the parameters of gate, strike time, stance time, and swing time. Uh, strike time being the time elapsed between two consecutive heel strikes on the same foot. Stance time being the time elapsed between a heel strike and the next uh, toe off on the same foot. And the swing time being the time elapsed between the toe off and the heel strike of the same foot. So these are some of the uh, uh, parameters of gate that we can uh, look at using Shimmer. So the scenario I've got here is that's the uh, right leg. So I'm just going to pop that in my sock. And <coughs> this one is the left leg. Pop that in my sock. It's clear. It's clear. Yeah, these are. Pardon? Point out that it's gyro well, this is gyro data you're looking at on the screen, and this and these uh, results are generated from from the gyro uh, board. So, if I want to uh, do a quick walk, so it's recording. So if I just walk over. And we can see uh, the various times of each of the uh, of each of the uh, strides, for example, uh, um, one point five eight seconds for stride one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so we can also look at the uh, stance time, swing time. So it, it calculates these uh, uh, gate parameters, and then, of course. Uh, you know, with the, uh, the large drill cohort of data, uh, <coughs> some very meaningful uh, uh, results can be can be uh, taken from from this, uh, and that's just uh, uh, showing the uh, timestamp and showing that everything works okay. That's it.